Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can create custom modal in React Native. So custom modal means here we will not use any uh, predefined library package or uh, modal component of React Native. Here we will create our own logic to uh, make a modal or you can say that make a dialog box also. All right. So let me show you the UI the, like how it will look like. So here you can see that we have a button at the bottom for uh, open the modal. And so once we will just press over there, here you can see that we have a modal there. So style is not up to the mark. You can say that uh, there, but you can write any style there. So my focus is on just creating a custom modal uh, and its logic, not on the style. So you can write any style inside it, right? So th there is no issue. So this is, you can close it with the close button and you can open it with the open button. If you want to just create uh, some cross icon and all, you can also do that. There is no issue. All right. So let's come back uh, to the code. So this is the app.js component. Here you will write our modal and uh, this is our emulator to, out to show the output. So firstly, I will create a button there. So let me add a button and uh, let me just give some title to it. Let's say open dialog like this, right? And uh, with this, we need to add uh, lots of styles. So I'm importing their style sheet. And let's create a constant with the name of styles with style sheet dot create. And inside it, we can write our style. And firstly, I am just uh, putting the style name to, uh, to the top of you, which is container, right? So let me just add style for container. Uh, first of all, I am just putting their flex one so that it will be stretched over the complete screen. After that, uh, you can just say that justified content in the end, flex end. So we have the open dialog at the last. After that, you can add one more view there. And uh, inside this, we need one more view. I will tell you why, why I am adding there. After that, you can just add some text. Let's say uh, some dummy text or something and I need one more button there and I am just putting there uh, title of this is uh, close dialogue right let me just create the camel case and I need to import text also because this is not imported there so let me import text yeah and uh, is anything pending yeah we have to close this button also so now you can see that everything at the bottom of the screen so how we can fix in the center so I am just uh, giving this uh, view name is modal so styles dot modal and let me add some uh, style to over there all right so just need to put there flex one and uh, background color could be let's say a uh, green for a moment right i'll tell you why green here you can see that right and after that, if you want to just uh, uh, provide some element, uh, inner element in the center, then just put their justified content in the center and aligned item in the center also, like this. They are now in the center. But a uh, green color actually not suit to the background so we can add there a black color right but the next thing is uh, if we just directly put their black color how we can show the uh, content which is written background uh, in, in the back of that dialog box right it should be transparent 
to make it transparent we can use their rgba that means uh, red green blue alpha and like a function inside it just provide the value 50 50 and 50 and 0.5 last one means we are putting the 50 50 50 value to the red green and blue and 0.5 means that is the opacity and if we will save here you can see that now this is the completely <coughs> sorry guys transparent perfect after that we have to add some style to that uh, let me add some style uh, to the inner component so when i'm putting the style name is body so let's put their body and uh, here we can say that background color could be white after that width could be let's say 300 height could be let's say 300 and if you want to just justif justify this content at the center then you can also do that and uh, if you want to just provide some space between them then you can add some style to the button or text also right i hope that you already know about that because we already know about margin padding and everything after that let's add some padding could be 30 yeah like this uh perfect and at the last what we can simply say that border radius could be let's say 10 perfect but how we can just hide and show this because this is always be visible for that we need a state you can put any name to it i am putting there show by default value of uh, this state will be false so use state and by default value is false and here we will put there Uh, let's say we are simply putting if show is true then the content should be visible otherwise no content is there but the by default value is false that's why nothing is visible but on press of that button i will make it true so just set show let's make it true and here we go so if i will just click over there here you can see that we got that uh dialog box and now we can simply close it like this so if i'm just uh, closing over there you can see that we can close it we can show it so that's all about this video so how this is the way that how we can create our custom dialog box and if you still have any query any uh, question you can ask me in the comment section and uh, uh, this is my Paytm number for donation. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video.